Introducing Worth Hollow Wall Anchors. The hollow wall anchor is suited for setting attachments in plasterboards, perforated brick ceilings, hollow body ceilings and other boards. Worth hollow wall anchors are available individually or in a convenient Aussie 100 carry case. To install the anchor, pre-drill the desired surface. Slightly loosen the screw to allow for enough space for it to be mounted with the hand mounting pliers. Simply insert the anchor into the pre-drilled hole and apply pressure to the mounting pliers to complete the process. Worth hollow wall anchors are a must have for indoor mounting applications. One of the most frustrating experiences in home repairs is figuring out how to fix a stripped screw hole in wood. All the current ways are time consuming, tedious, and worst of all, the fix always seems to fail again. With the Screw It Again Wood Anchor, you can avoid that frustration and quickly repair those stripped holes in less than a minute, once and for all. The patented Screw It Again Anchor features a threaded body to penetrate wood without breaking as it expands for a superior grip. Its unique tapered design lets you fix any stripped hole for screw sizes from number 2 to number 16. Engineered to be divided into multiple sections, a single anchor can repair three to four stripped holes and works in all types of wood and substrates, including softwoods, hardwoods, MDF, plywood, and particle. The Screw It Again is ideal for repairing stripped screw holes in door and cabinet hinges, tables, chairs, self-assembled furniture, and many other household repairs. The Screw It Again is so versatile you rarely even need to remove the door or hinge to repair stripped holes in your frame or cabinet. The Screw It Again is so easy to use that anyone with a screwdriver can get it done in just a few simple steps. Match, screw, snap, then screw it again. First, match two anchor segments to fit your application. This can be estimated visually or using the diagram on the back of the packaging. When repairing large holes, break off the smaller sections before inserting the anchor. Next, gently screw the anchor into the existing hole. Each anchor is notched to fit both Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. Notice how the anchor has blades for a perfect grip, and the slit in the center allows for expansion when the screw is inserted again. Now, snap. When you can't screw in further, snap the excess anchor by hand with the screwdriver or using pliers. The scored design allows you to easily snap off those extra sections, but hang on to these for additional hole repairs. Screw it again. Insert the existing screw into the anchor and screw it again. As the screw is tightened, the anchor expands, forming a stronger bond, enabling the repaired hole to function properly again. The Hilti KCM MD Quick Cast Multi Thread Anchors for Metal Deck is the latest innovation in cast in anchor technology from Hilti. The portfolio includes four different sizes of short plate anchors and two different sizes of long plate anchors. All designed with multiple thread diameters specific to the trades that use them, helping to eliminate the risk of using the wrong anchor size during the layout process. All KCM MD anchors include pre-installed screws for quick and easy attachment to metal deck. No need to hassle with loose screws on the job. Color-coded plastic housing identifies the thread configuration, so you know what size of anchor rod to use. Additionally, the dual-color plugs prevent confusion on the job with another contractor that is using the same size of KCM MD. The long plate KCM MD anchors allow the contractor to install cast in anchors at any location on the metal deck, including the incline between the flutes. Long plate anchors are always installed at the same height on the deck, which aids in prefabrication of their overhead piping supports. The contractor knows exactly what height to cut the anchor rod for a consistent height.
Today we're going to be fixing the plasterboard using another heavy duty type anchor, the spring toggle. It's a pan headed screw and as you can see here you've got the expanding spring loaded wings. These will grip to the back of the board once it's gone through the hole. It is also important to note before we start that these are more suited to overhead applications but are just as effective when you're working in a wall such as this. You are going to require a few tools for this job. You're going to need your electric drill, you're also going to require a correct size drill bit and a handheld screwdriver. One common mistake that people will make with this spring toggle is once the hole's actually been drilled, they will push the wings back like so, put it through the hole, and then they'll look to attach the application. This won't work as the top wings will just fall down the back of the board and there'll be nothing to support the screw. So with that in mind, it's important to remove the screw from the toggle like so, put the screw through your application, and then place it back to the top. Then once that's done, you can just push it straight through the hole and let the wings expand and grip into the back of the board. So now we're going to put the toggle through the hole. So like I said, the wings will expand when they go through the hole like so. So you push it through and then you'll find the wings, you'll hear them almost clip at the back of the board. And from there, you need to tighten it. It is important that it can be quite fiddly when it's on a wall that you pull the screw towards you to stop the wings spinning around the back. And as with our plasterboard anchor, this is also a combi drive recess. So you can use a cross recess screwdriver and also a slotted screwdriver. When you do tighten it as well, to make sure you, to avoid any over tightening, you just screw it until the application itself sits flush against the board.